Hey guys, we're back at it again. It's your favorite host. It's your favorite fitness crew. It's your favorite running club. We're at it again. Um, and one of your first hosts, Herbert. Jonathan. And Rick. And Ronnie. Oh, look at that. Ronnie's back. One of my favorite top tier baddies. I'm he's, back and I'm better, baby. He sounds hot. For real. Like, uh, I he think looks Enrique hot. Enrique sounded hot, but now I, uh, I think Ronnie sounds better. I got replaced. And that's fine, though, because we're all here. We're, we're, we're a happy family. And we're going to talk about the events that we did. I think, actually, Ronnie was uh, test, testing the mics before, like, the time he was off. And he was testing his voice. I think he was yeah. going to Guitar Center or something like, like that. like, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La. Would, he was uh, trying to get the tune. Yeah, I would go in the bathroom every morning, like, <laughs> and I would talk to myself. I'll, I'll look in the mirror and be like, and just hey, like, good, be good like, morning, baddies. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> like, sir, talking. it's been three hours. Like, you need to leave. <laughs> Are you going to buy You hear a knock on the door? No, I'm just saying. All right, so real quick, though, we did a lot this, uh, like I said, guys, we've been bringing you guys the heat. I mean, I mean, we've been bringing you guys so much stuff to the, like, to the table. We've been doing it, guys. Uh, and um, we've been getting a lot of um, uh, followers and, and fr- people, like, tuning in and all that good stuff. So, hey, thank you guys for the support. I just want to say that because, you know, we see everybody, though, right, Herbert? We see everybody coming in and out. Yeah, and it's uh, it's amazing. All these new people, all these new faces, all these new stories. Um, yeah, it's great to see. It's great to see. Yeah, it's awesome. So real quick, though, um, on January uh, 15th, the last Saturday, we did Trail Canyon Falls. If you guys don't know about Trail Canyon Falls, it's one of the nice waterfalls. Uh, where is it located at, uh, Enrique? It's in Tuhunga or Sun- Sunland. Um, and it's uh, he knows the stats. What was the stats? Uh, the mileage? Well, on that hike, you guys did six miles, basically, and, and you guys gained a 1,000 feet elevation, which is a pretty decent hike. Oh. And a lot of new people went. Um, one of our friends um, from high school, uh, Maribel, that was oh, her first yeah. time, right, Herbert? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, was I wasn't like, there that time either. I didn't get to see her. And uh, Yeah, she didn't even, yeah, yeah, she, uh, she didn't recognize me at first. It's been what? It's been what, five? She didn't recognize no, no, no. <laughs> no. High it's school was like, like 10 years ago. Nine, yeah, it's nine, a year, long nine years time ago. ago. 2013. Long time ago. So Graduation. real quick, though, uh, that hike, um, I remember... Um, it was like 31 uh, attendees, uh, including us, and it was it was a good turnout. Um, everybody felt comfortable. Um, everybody made sure that I, was, I made sure that everybody was safe, and we made sure that everybody was guided right. Right? It was just me and um, uh, Herbert from the baddies and Monica. Yeah, dude, it was like one of my first because you know I'm kind of behind the scenes kind of guy. I'm kind of quiet, and it was like my first time trying to <laughs> like uh, lead people, and it was crazy. I actually had to yell at some point to like corral people, and then some girl said like, "Dude, you, you didn't even yell it. You just kind of just said it." Because so it's not my you job. Got, you got called out. Cause yeah, it's no, usually it, me and Jonathan that yeah, like yeah, I guess, take I had control to take situations, but it was cool. But real quick though, I know Herbert. <laughs> um, I know the one thing that about Trail Canyon Falls, um, there's a lot of water right now, so it's um, mm. it's it's not dry at all. And if you go to that one, you could take your family. Uh, you could, it's dog friendly. Some people take their dogs, but it's kind of scary because you go down the the waterfall. Like you have to take some ropes and stuff. So you just gotta be careful out there. Um, I know that uh, we took we took uh, Dan and Rico. What's going on? No, but it's I know that it's FBI. It's the FBI. <laughs> they're knocking on. But I know um, real quick. Uh, the Trail Cannon Falls. We took our our new logo or not logo. Our new sign. Uh, Caesar the welder, which is a cousin. He's my baddie. Um, he ended up making Rawr. a yeah. I know. <laughs> he ended up making a, a logo. Uh, not a logo. Come on, guys. A sign. The plaque. The plaque. Yeah, and it's really nice. If you guys don't see it, like a lot of people be taking pictures with it. Uh, we posted it on our Instagram reels and all that good stuff. So it's 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 popping. And I know a lot of people say that they like the sign, and uh, it's it's heavy though. I'm gonna be honest with you. But that's okay because we can handle it. We can carry it. It's really good for pictures. It's a very photogenic piece of wood with metal, and it, look, it says the baddies. It has the mountains on it. It actually looks really cool. So if you come hiking with us, you, um, you can take a picture with it, and you can, you know, tag us and, and, and embrace the sign because it's a really cool sign. And should we start charging for people to like to take pictures with the sign? Because we need to make money somehow. No, well, I think we, we shouldn't. We don't have to charge them. We'll think about it. Let's not decide anything on this <laughs> we podcast. We charge you right every now. time you. <laughs> no, no, but that's not. That. The good thing though, a lot of people, uh, like I said, it was thirty-one um, attendees, uh, a lot of new faces, and. Um, well, I want to give a shout out to uh, who joined us, SoCal uh, Hillbillies. SoCal Hillbillies, yes. Uh, Joseph, a shout out to him. Um, he joined us. Um, he said he loved the vibes. Is like, thank you so much for, um, you know, creating this type of environment. Um, I don't know. It was just, I told him, I was like, we don't have all the baddies in, in this trail, like at the hike. I was like, but if you come to other events, like we we'll always like to talk to you. You know, we just like to have socialize. a good vibes. Yeah, socialize. Network. And then like get to know people because they come from all like around SoCal or even from San Diego. Dude, people were making a drive. No, somebody came from like, yeah, like San almost Diego. a two hour drive. No, there was something farther, no? Uh, no, San Diego. Oh, wow. Yeah, but people it, which it, was, it was two hours. You yeah. know, it, it, it's like amazing to see how people, like how far they drive to 
to have like this event with us. And it's really cool. Like I really, and really also, see. also the weather, Oh my God, the weather was perfect for us. Uh, there was a, it was cloudy, like a little overcast, but it was, and then the sun came out at the very end. So it was pretty good. Um, I, I think every, everything went in favor for us, right, Herbert? Yeah, it was great weather. Uh, the only thing that was kind of sad, it was sad for us is that we didn't take any stickers. So, um, oh, yeah. I know. So guess what? So whoever uh, is hearing this podcast and you want stickers, guess what? We're, we're going to get them soon. ASAP. Like, I mean, serious. We had to pay expedited uh, shipping and all that good stuff. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's behind the scenes stuff. The point is that we're going to have stickers the next time. So just stay tuned and come join one of our events. And then we're, we're going to hand out stickers and yeah so we're, we're actually low on inventory and a lot of things right are we gonna try to bulk up on yeah we're gonna bulk people up. were asking about merch to be honest oh yeah merch merch is coming through soon some shirts some shirts and everything and other other, w- other stuff that's going to be surprises later on in the future oh and didn't we talk about batty uh uh a, ba- a baby clothing line no, no. <laughs> <A> baby clothing <laughs> line <laughs> no no no, no, no baby clothing line. but i know that after <laughs> that trail canyon falls on saturday uh on sunday um, I was the only one that went running. I went running with Jaguar Runs. If you guys don't know Jaguar Runs, but they do um, uh, these challenges. Like they do a 100-mile challenge, 200, 300. And they always fundraise for like, uh, you know, for, for for like some, I think they're fundraising for Ray for this month. So like they're giving him because, you know, he got diagnosed with something. I don't know like exactly what. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, they always fundraise for good, for good things, you know. So uh, it, it's good to join, you know, groups that are doing that, right? Um. So I run with them, and it was a 10K run. So if you guys don't know what the 10K is, it's a 6.2 miles. Uh, we did it in um, in the uh, Pacific Electric Trail, which is over there located in Rialto and Fontana. If you guys never been to that trail, it's pretty cool to run. Or you came in on uh, hike it, not hike it, walk it or bike it. Um, so if you live in Rialto and Fontana, check out the Pacific Electric Trail. It's pretty cool. Um, I know Enrique wanted to go, right? I think you wanted oh, to yes, go. Oh, yes, yes. Well, I've been, I've been missing on some events um all because of school i guess I've, I've been stressing out and just focusing on homework wait but what was um herbert's um uh excuse for not going to wait, that run wait what run it was on a sunday the 10k run uh i think my f- i think my phone died that day <laughs> right <laughs> right no it's because you were in church or something huh you were <laughs> yeah i was uh very i was at a dentist appointment yeah <laughs> actually do you think uh you think adam and eve ran the garden like the garden meeting you think mm-hmm. they ran Nah, I think I was how, actually, how long? How big was that garden? They, they, they would say? run every Thursday. It's like the baddies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they well, that one day that she ate the yeah. apple. The original baddies. There you yeah, go. Yeah, they, they, they were actually there were baddies, right? <laughs> so yeah, after the ten k run though, that was on January sixteen. On Monday though, what we did was um we ended up doing um it was Mar- Martin Luther King Day. So guess what? Some people have it off, right? And it's funny because Omar uh Vayner local or if you lo- if you know him, he's the one that runs um from Hike Revolution. He ended up setting up this hike, uh Jones Peak. If you guys never been to Jones Peak, it's a pretty cool hike. It has some switchbacks, so it's kind of not not as bad though. It's kind of like Echo Mountain. You guys been to Echo Mountain, right? You know how the Echo Mountain is switchbacks, like you go up and you go up to Echo Mountain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like that. So um, it's uh, how many miles was it, Enrique, for the Jones Peak? Uh, six point nine two. So basically, a seven mile hike. You guys gained two thousand three hundred feet though, which is pretty impressive. You guys did that in three hours. And guess what though? That day, I don't know if you guys know, on January seventeenth on Martin Luther King, it was raining that day. Or oh, it was um it was sprinkling at the bottom, but you know when you go up the mountain or when you're going up to a peak, like the weather gets like cloud not cloudy, windy, and you know, everything starts changing. So um I know uh I know it started raining. So the good good thing was that um Omar, you know, because Omar is a vegan, he ended up um uh, taking tamales, vegan tam, oh vegan, tam- oh no, they took the regular tamales. Uh, that was Myra, and she took pan dulce. But Omar, he ended up making a uh, vegan burritos for us at the peak. Oh, so damn. it was, was pretty that? good, dude. It was like a, it was like a party up I'm there. I'm so jealous. I really wanted to go to that one, and if I knew there was gonna be food involved, damn. I knew it. Pan dulce, come on, pan man. Dulce, Where was that? Like, Omar cooking, come like, on. Put, put it this way: when when I got to the peak and he had all, we had all the food. Like, I felt like I got more energy. You know how when you eat, you get energy, it's right? the vibes and the food, yeah. And I got so full from all, like, the pan dulce. I had one pan dulce, I had one taman, and I had one vegan burrito. Dude, that's a lot of food if you think about it. For a hike, yeah. So, it felt good, but it was raining. So, we did take a picture. You know, we took, like I said, we always take, like, we're taking out the um, sign with the or the plaque. Uh, the Alley Baddies one. So you can see our reels that it shows all the, you know, the whole pictures that we do. The details, The videos yeah. and the details. The, the exciting moments. And then um, after on uh, January 18th, though, what we did, uh, we did GMR bike ride. Um, if you guys don't know where GMR is at, it's at Glendora Mountain Road. Uh, the good thing is that we did that ride at night 
And um, I don't know if you guys know, but when it rains in the mountains, they try to close down the roads because uh, it's kind of dangerous for people it's to hazard. Um, yeah. So they close down the road. So me, Daniel, which was his first time to go up there. So um, we he, he was all excited because it was his first time climbing up the mountains. That's, what, you know, it's called climbing because you're literally like, like the percentage of uh, elevation gain was, or the it's, it's usually the like a six to seven percent grade the incline, of, yeah. of incline, and and it's, it's challenging. It really is, but that's what makes it fun when you cycle, because on the way down you get to go at faster speed. Oh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting, right? But I mean, the the challenge in GMR is the elevation, but the views are beautiful, which is why it's really known for that for cycling with the views. But guess what though? There was no views because it was cloudy. It was nighttime <laughs> and it was cloudy. <laughs> it was cloudy. So, <laughs> but you're still cycling through the mountains, and that's exciting. So, and then um, was a cool thing was that uh, when we went up, um, coming down since it was Daniel first time like going down hills, um, I was kind of scared for him because it was like you know it's kind of wet, you know, because uh, yeah. all the fog and the mist and all that good stuff. Uh, but he ended up doing good. He, no one fell down. Or no one fell off like anything, you know. So we did a good job. Uh, we were going pretty fast, like down the hill. We we're going like 26, 27 miles an hour. If you don't know, well, you know how it is when you drive in the mountains and, and if you drive your car like 20 something miles plus, it's scary, right? Well, I guess you could drive fast, but if you have a Honda Civic or a, not a racing car, it's scary because you don't have traction, right, Herbert? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> like Herbert, her, 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 yeah. I'm a big fan of traction. I've always said this. Traction? Yeah. What kind of traction? Um, attraction. Oh. Uh, that's one of my. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite words. Attraction. Yeah. Nice. No, but. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. I know. But real quick, though, yeah, Jane. Um, and all, every time we do like these type of rides or we do these type of hikes, so we always like to take uh, snacks. Um, I don't know what you guys kind of snacks you guys like to snack on. Um, the good thing, it, the sad thing for me was I didn't take Enrique since he's my sna- oh, he's my damn. snack. So I had to take like an actual protein bar from from Costco, you know. Yeah, sorry guys, bars. that sucks, dude. Yeah, I know, yeah. dude. I wish Enrique was there. I didn't there. get to go. I'm sorry. His, his neck didn't show up. Yeah, but um, it is what it is, <laughs> man. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So we did that on January 18th, the GMR bike uh, ride. But on Wednesday, I want to go show up um to our friends um Anaheim Running Club. Um, I, did you guys meet him? He did a night hike with us. Yes. I think you met him, Herbert. Yes, I met him. Did you meet him? Yeah, I met him. Uh. It, it was a it was a um, punk out one that we did with the with the tire and we we were crossing the rivers, river crossing. No, no, I think Ronnie didn't do it with us. I didn't. I didn't oh yeah, yeah. Hey, Enrique. Oh, I was there. Yeah. No. Oh, and Caesar. Caesar. Ron yeah, was, yeah. Right, yeah. It was Enrique, uh, Herbert from the baddies, and Caesar. And then um, I went, and who else went? I think it was a, a lot of people of us. But we we ended up um, I ended up telling him that I wanted to go run with this club. So he's Anaheim Running Club, and he runs in he runs at uh, Angel Stadium. And um, I ended up doing um, three point what? Three point five three. And guess miles. what? I, my pace was good. It was at eight mi- eight minutes per mile, but I was running with a twenty seven pound vest. Twenty seven pounds, like that's yeah, it was heavy, but it was a good workout. And Rika knows how it is to run no, yeah, with the vest. Wearing a vest is, is a little challenging when you run. It kind of creeps up on you because it's it's more weight than you're used to. And by the first mile, you can definitely feel it on your on your legs. So, but. Guess what? I did it. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> but, but guess what? I did it. <laughs> no, but it, it was good. Um, I think um, just since we're talking about different clubs, you know, um, I know we heard something today at a run. All right, uh, Herbert, uh, our friend Neil. Uh, what did he say? Well, he ran with some other club. Well, I don't want to like well, bash we're not. anybody else, but you know, it's a good. Th- yeah, it's a good thing to hear that people um enjoy our our, our, our environment, our group, what and whatever activity we do. It's always like, oh, we have such a good time. It's so it's so fun. And it's always nice to hear because, um, like, I think we really started to do groups stuff like maybe uh, a year? few months ago, maybe. No, like a no, year ago. Like or last like, year, yeah. yeah. No, like, but like a few months. That's like, a, come on. That's like, like six months ago. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, and every time I hear, I see, I hear somebody, they talk about it. So they're like, oh, my God, so much fun. I'm glad I met you guys. Yada, yada, yada. And it's good to hear. Um because I, I'm kind of getting annoyed of you guys. So no. like, it's kind of, <laughs> it reminds me like, I'm all, oh, I'm surrounded by. No, you guys, you guys don't annoy me. You guys don't annoy me. I actually really enjoy you guys. So but, I feel uh, the same way as Neil. And I, and I, and I, and I think, um, Jonathan, uh, Jay, uh, he said that the only reason why he started running was because of us this year or else, oh, right. he, or else he wouldn't have been running. And this is our, what, third run of the year. And um, every run we do like three miles, except for today, right, Her- Ronnie? What, what did I tell you today? Oh yeah, like so, <laughs> I got off work, right? I go to the gym. I'm like, okay, like the guys are having a run. I'm gonna pull up, say hello, and you know, run. And then yeah, I, I was expecting two, three miles at most. And then 
I come up here and Jonathan's like, hey, man, you ready for the five miles? And I was like, five miles? Like, what the hell? Like, I wasn't informed about this. <laughs> He's like, no, yeah, we're going to do five miles. Like, come on, like, let's do it. And I was Too like, late. Oh, you're already there. God. Huh? I know. I was like, fuck, well, can't say no, you know? So but yeah, uh, I ran five miles. But that was your first time running five miles, right? <laughs> so yeah, I did, think previously I did what? We three. did like 5K at APU, yeah. but like that was it, you know? I don't, I don't do cardio in general, so. How'd you feel? Um... I mean, I, w- I was taking little breaks here and there. I mean, but I felt okay. It wasn't that bad. Dude. Yeah, same, dude. I was actually, I was actually really nervous too of doing five miles. But yeah, I th- it's weird. Like once you get the hang, like once you get started, you're like, oh, this isn't that bad. It's not it's running okay. isn't as bad as people think, right. especially when it comes to distance. The distance just feels scary or they look scary. But like once you actually start running through them without worrying about the distance, I would recommend people to instead of start running and worrying about the time. Like instead of saying that I, I'm running a mile a day, say that you're running 10 minutes a day or whatever. Yes. And then the next day run 15 minutes a day. Improve on your time and, and ignore the miles. The, the miles will come as you get better in condition at running. But yeah. I, I would definitely recommend people because they get scared when they run too much or when they think that, I guess, running is just scary because it feels like it's long, but yeah. it's not. You know what? You know what actually I think helped me though? What helped you? It's like running with like people though. Yeah, because like once you get to talk to people or whatever, like you you kind of don't think about like like running like per se or like the time or like your pace or whatever. And next thing you know, it's like oh we're we're halfway there. Like I was like oh okay like and wasn't that bad you know like. And then we always take pictures, right? We always take like. Oh, that's my favorite part. I love the picture part. <laughs> the yeah, picture yeah. part because yeah. we stop and breathe. And oh, because <laughs> we have to take a break. No, home, but so. we uh yeah it was crazy. Uh, I thought I asked everybody at uh, mile one point five. I was like, hey, are you guys good to go to keep going to to reach the 2.5, the halfway point? And they said, yeah. No oh, one yeah, said no. We, we, we thought about it. It's like, okay, like if everyone, you know, is like not feeling that great, like we'll kind of cut it short, no? Yeah. So, but, the, but the goal was to do the five miles. The, the first group I had, they were they, they were ready. They were ready to keep pushing. They, and, uh, oh, yeah. Y'all took off, man. I mean, I was kind of in the back, but, you know, I was. But yeah, hey, how I was it back then? How was it back then? Back, I wasn't really cool. uh, it was nice. there. It was kind of quiet. <laughs> 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 hey, hey uh, I think Herbert's getting getting cocky and faster. I'm gonna oh, be honest. I know, huh? oh, dude, there's yeah, a man. tremendous amount of cocky coming in. Like, <laughs> I was like, eat my confidence. Dust and, like, take off. <laughs> oh yeah, I was making fun of Monica because she was because like, <laughs> she was in the back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the back. I was just like because I was I'm so used to being in the back. Now that I'm not in the back, I realize how much the back sucks. <laughs> 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 so like, but you're proud of that, and and it, and it came yeah, with the consistency with a little bit of effort so, th- so that's a message for everyone out there that sure. like you know the, don't give up it, it only took a couple times of running for herbert to really get conditioned to not be running five six miles and f- for you to say what you're saying yeah yeah because yeah. so yeah, herbert you've been crazy. you've been coming to the runs like what uh like no, every I, thursday now or what i missed the very first one but i haven't missed one since you came to the last week's yeah i came to last week's yeah okay w- was it harder uh, or, I, it was a different route that's why i don't I mean, to be honest, I don't feel a difference. This because this one was like I think like half of the half of the way back was like a decline, so it wasn't bad. It wasn't like I wasn't struggling. Yeah, at I know. All. I know what you mean. I think I think the overall like what people have to do is like take breaks. So if you have to take a break, don't be afraid to stop. Like Enrique said, take your time. Like, and what I noticed is something. This like make sure like whoever wants to do long distance, make sure like you're um when you do long distance like. Don't run fast in the beginning because you're going to burn out like straight up. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't keep up with that fast person because if if you keep up with someone else and that's not your pace, guess what? That's it. You're done. Like not you're, done, but you're, you're going to burn out quicker, I guess. So and, and that, that's what I noticed. And other runners, too, out there, uh, when you run a half marathon or you run a full marathon, like if you try to keep up with someone that has a faster pace, then yeah, you're gonna you're gonna burn out, and then you're gonna fall fall back, and then you're gonna like I don't know, you're probably gonna start giving up in your head, right? You're gonna be like, oh man, like that person just beat me, but uh, it's not a competition. I feel like it's just up to you, man. Like just go ahead. And the good thing that we do when we run, we support each other, right? We always stop, we always applaud, we always like, come on guys, like great job, you know? We always like give positive vibes, good vibes, right, Ronnie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel like it's just like we're like like a family almost in a way. I'm not gonna lie. Like we're building. Like, uh, what's that? What's that saying? It's like no child left behind. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah that, oh, that was us. Because like, I mean, I know Jonathan can like keep up and run, but he was like in the back with like. Yes, that's that's a few other people. Yeah, he's always do. Me, yeah. Whether we're hiking, like, okay, yeah, guys, come on, like keep push it, push it to the stop. Like let's go, don't. You know. So yeah, Herbert. Uh, 
at the back was really cool actually i'm gonna be honest with you herbert i was mm. in the back so no the front was pretty good but you know you wouldn't know anything about that so. actually i was in the front and you weren't in the front <laughs> i was in the middle the middle was fine the, the, there was no one in the middle no like it was free i wasn't in the back that's all that matters all that all i was that, like wait a minute like all that we heard in the middle was this yeah all right you know you know i'm tired of you guys making fun of me that's not, no, i was one of the first people to start this shit no wait, wait wait who are you again what's your name <laughs> you know who i am don't do wait, oh another thing i want to say though um if you guys don't know herbert well you know you guys know him because of the podcast if you guys listen to it but he's hr so and, and it's crazy though because every hike now like everybody knows him as hr yeah <laughs> so i got complaints about inventory i got complaints about like oh dude, this is like more inclined than i thought i was like okay yeah i'll jot this down but i never do <laughs> so all your complaints i don't read them <laughs> and if he does read him it or what do they say that like it goes through one year and then it comes out through the other right yeah so but i know herbert wants to um actually like start doing some um reviews or something about hikes yeah, and stuff. i think it would be very fun just to have people just anything just jot down what other people have don't know what other people need to say either bad or good i think it'll be nice to have input like in anonymous that. or like with 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 your name with your no, name anonymous you can put your name doesn't matter put a different name put joe biden doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> joe biden yeah just, joe biden. <laughs> just put something on there right? yeah uh, put your social though for sure please because <laughs> maybe our theo might need it <laughs> Are we gonna, oh. <laughs> no but uh oh yeah so real quick though uh we have something coming up though um and this is probably going to be i don't know if it's going to be the like the biggest turnout um uh hike or group hike uh but it's going to be uh i'm counting like i have two groups two group chats going on um so i don't know maybe some people might drop out you know but because you know at last minute you know everybody has stuff going on you yeah, might yeah. not set your alarm or you might turn off your phone like herbert <laughs> 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 or you might make good excuses right but no i'm just playing off uh so we're gonna have like i think 40 to 50 plus in, uh, attendees so i'm excited for that it's gonna be fun and and it's gonna be a good time we're gonna go to black star canyon trail never been there um i know one of, uh, i know some few people that are in the group they've been there that's why they they told us hey can, can we host or can we go back there because they liked it mm -hmm. um I know the beginning of the, of the year there was a lot of water but now i think there should be water i don't know how much water but uh, hopefully hopefully not too much <laughs> why oh because you yeah you're doing something else i'm, I'm doing a little <laughs> surprise for but uh we are gonna take yeah. the we are gonna take, we are gonna take the drone so i know last time yes. we didn't last time we didn't take the drone to trail canyon but george did right george, george took the drone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes yeah, i saw george, the footage yeah. yeah and um i know that herbert was having a good time with the drone uh they were taking foot um pictures or videos right oh i love the drone you don't even like using our drone you never let me touch it. I always hand it to you so you can use it. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it. I, I bring it every single hike, and I always play with it. I don't remember ever you handed me anything, Aww. except the one thing, and we won't oh. talk about that in the round. <laughs> it was an STD. Thank you. <laughs> no, don't listen. It's a joke. It's a joke. No, but the batteries are close. I, I, I don't do, know. I do take the drone to. I try to every event, then use it, get some cool footage. So if you, if you ever see a drone flying near you, just know that it's us. <laughs> but um. Yeah, uh, this year, oh my God, it's so many hikes. I have like a calendar, no lie. Like we have a lot of hikes going on, and and um, and we do. A lot of people ask us like, um, how do you guys join our club, or what you know, what what do you, what do we have to do? Do we do you guys charge? Um, and I know Herbert wants to charge people, but no, we don't charge. <laughs> <laughs> we don't charge. Uh, we're here like for like uh, the fun, you know, like to unite all people to yes. to, to get the LA community more engaged and in, in, in taking care of the earth and hiking and, and staying and but together with their fitness but goals why not make a profit while doing that well no, well, no, well, no, well, well, well i'm not saying no we don't have to charge i'm just joking it's not joking. but but <laughs> but if we do have um if we do bring out some clothing yeah we're gonna i'm sorry to say some, but so, some baddies gear for people that want to support a, i'm gonna be honest with you it's not, it's not gonna be expensive like we're gonna make sure that it's affordable for everybody and uh everybody will be rocking our our gear you know so is it be cool? Is it cut that out of the podcast? What are you talking about? Not expensive. What are you <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, cutting like out of like the a podcast. Twenty dollar lanyard. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, what is an, an, an NFT? Yeah, wait, oh, should a we do it at NFT? NFT? That would be crazy, actually. Dude, baddie. Oh, I think Nike's doing an NFT for the baddies. No, no, <laughs> for themselves. That would be the day for themselves. But <laughs> that'd be cool. But yeah, it's a and then um, not only that, like I always tell people, like they always say, like you, we are uniting a lot of people and different backgrounds and um and it's cool because a lot of people are like you know they don't like we always talk about this like they, they don't see the nature or like the be the beauty that california holds um they always like to go to like 
uh, like outside of the, the the state. You know, they go to Arizona or something. But no, we're here. Like we have a lot of stuff here. It's because people feel, tend to have like tunnel vision, where like you kind of get used to LA and like the houses around you, the block you live in, but you don't realize that like when you think of like adventure, like something beautiful, you think of like crossing the entire country or going somewhere crazy when literally like right 30 minute drive to you like there's mountains that look just as beautiful on the other side maybe from the front they don't look that great but once you get in there there's rivers there's green snow there's there's you're gonna see all sorts of things out there and it's we have beautiful mountains we really do so you got to remember that you live in la and, and, and california you know this is a big place where a lot of tourists actually come to visit so you got to take pride in you know in your own mountains and uh, i just want to say uh something um i know i'm, I'm gonna keep uh I'm going to repeat this on the next podcast, but we're going to, are going to do a truck cleanup January 30th. So put it on your calendars, uh, January 30th. We're going to do a truck cleanup in a San Gabriel river trail. And, um, it's going to be with other groups, a uh, hiker evolution, uh, on trail with Caesar or on trail. They're the one that hosted it. Um, we explore earth. I think there's going, um, we have a lot of groups that are like attending. So, uh, we're going to try to clean up. I don't know. They're, they're trying to get like 200 plus pounds of trash. Well, that's easy. Uh-oh. I think we could do it. So That's easy. Say people, I was like, we're, we're probably going to get like, people. If we have that many people, we're probably going to get like 500 pounds of trash. Can we bring our own trash or is that like not allowed? <laughs> no, that's not what we're doing. That's the opposite of what we're doing. All right. <laughs> hey, you you bring your ex? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Shots fired. Shots fired. That's, no, we don't, no, we don't talk about that. But but yeah, so January 30th, January 30th, mark it down on your calendar. It's on a Sunday. Don't tell me it's, what does Herbert say on a Sunday? It's it's a Sunday. That's the Lord's Day. Dude, Lord's God, Day, God yeah. took a break. Why can't we? Why can't we? <laughs> uh, you could take a break after after the the cleanup. Yeah, it's only like an hour. Yeah, he only- made the, he made the universe. He's like, dude, I'm a chill. <laughs> we're like we're hiking. <laughs> yeah, well, we're enjoying what he gave us. Yeah, that's true. Instead that's of true. making it worse, instead of I instead think of, he's mad. He's no, I, I, I think he supports the baddies because we we take care of the earth. We we encourage people to stay healthy, to stay fit, you know. And and when they get out there and network and and get a, get to have a good time, you know, that this this is God's doing right here, dude. If if, if I like, I get to meet God before I get like, if I eventually, if I'm I like, right I put, like oh, like fingers crossed, I get into heaven, I'm gonna like give him a baddie sticker. It's like you deserve <laughs> this. Hey, good good work. So real quick, I know you guys are talking about. <laughs> I, know, I know you guys are talking about like God, but um, I was when I was hiking um, uh. And Joe's Peak, uh, there's a, you know, I don't know if you guys know, the Pitayos, uh, Peach's son, uh, Sh- Shai, he he was um, he was hiking with me, and it was raining. And this was when we were doing Joe's Peak, uh, and he told me, he's like, hey, you know why? You know why it rains? And I was like, why does it rain? Or why is it raining? And I was, he's like, it's because uh, uh, God is crying. And I was like, um, I, I, I used to think that when I was little, too. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Like, what why, do you mean? Why is he crying? Yeah, why is he crying? Like, mom, it's the third day in a row. <laughs> <laughs> why are you sad, bro? He, he got broken up, dude. That's what happens. It's, 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 it's that one next. We, we <laughs> ran, imagine God. Had, <laughs> we ran He's out like stalking her Instagram. Yeah. And shit. No, that's bad. No, but uh, yeah, I mean, but, no, it's bad. <laughs> no, it's just it's, a, it's not jokes, man. It, I was just laughing. It's just like you know, kids think differently. But he that's true. coming like it's crazy. <laughs> like on those hikes, like on those peaks, like he's done peaks before. And he's done Iron Mountain. So I asked him, I was like, how's this peak with, like, Jones Peak? Like, is it hard? Or he's like, no, nah, it's it's not that bad. Like, you know, and, like, he's young. So I wish I would have started when I was young. I'm going to be honest. But now, I guess we start now, right? Like, I know we all started recently well, hiking. We, we are young. And people yeah, that join young. us are young as well. 100%. People of all ages are young. I feel like you start getting old when you can no longer move your body. So if you, if you can move your body... Come hike. Come enjoy a good hike. Enjoy nature. Just just understand, though, when we do put it, it's hard. I just want to say oh, it out yes. there. Look at the stats, guys. Look at the stats that we post. And I I just want I want everybody to do it with us. Hike with us and join us. But I want to make sure everybody does it safe. I don't want to, I don't want no one to get hurt, you know, because we don't have insurance, right, Herbert? <laughs> well, we don't, yeah. yeah, we don't have insurance, so we don't, like, encourage people to get hurt. But we do have a lawyer, so if you get hurt, just get your lawyer ready, baby. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's get all your lawyer I'm ready. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was bad. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, real quick though. Um, I know um, we haven't talked about the gym, but uh, have you guys stayed consistent at in the gym? Uh, all of us here. I just just a check. I'm just checking up. Yes, on I, accountability. If I can check my LA Fitness app, I think I've been doing like f- at least five days a week. At least. No way. Yeah. What yeah, do you I'm do? The sauna. 
<laughs> no, they don't have a movie theater in there, do they? I don't like the sauna because then there's some guy next to you, and then I try to do small talk, but I'm not good at small talk, so, so I just, just start holding his hand and like just yeah, just going for a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just skip the small talk, like what? <laughs> what? <What's going> <laughs> you get his number after, and you're like, you're like, man, that, this is not cool. Like, you know, sugar daddy, yeah. huh? Well, hey, dude, I'll take anything. Come no, on. I'll take okay, any okay. side you, you probably check in, go to the bathroom, and walk out, huh? <laughs> 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 Wait, Ronnie, have you been going lately though a lot? No, no, no. Honestly, like yesterday and today. Those are the only days I've gone this year, but uh, you're gonna you're gonna try to stay consistent, right? Oh no, yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah, because I mean, honestly, I've been MIA like even with you guys. It's my first time seeing you guys. That's since, true. Since last yeah. year, you know, we've been missing you, Ronnie. Actually. That's true, Ronnie. Yeah, man. Because I know, I know the last last podcast. I know you guys like called me. <clears throat> I wasn't able to come in. Um, yeah, we called you. <laughs> no, yeah, you called me, and then that's when I told you guys like, oh, like might have been exposed or whatever, and then. I never like followed up, but yeah, dude, I came out positive, dude, for Wait, COVID. Positive, like in like you're cool, like positive. No, yeah, so definitely not. So I got my test back, <laughs> like a day after you guys called me, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. I knew I knew you were positive. I kid you not, I told them, but I was, I was like, like yeah, dude. So I cut off everyone, dude. Like, how'd you feel? Like, oh, did it hit you bad or no? Um, honestly, like I had congestion for like a little while, and then the worst it got, I probably had like a headache, and then a sore throat. Oh, it wasn't too bad. But you, that was it. Oh, okay. Like, I didn't lose any, like, sense of smell, sense of taste. Like, my appetite was okay. I know I lost I lost weight, though, because I wasn't, like, doing anything. I didn't go to the gym or anything like that. But, yeah, dude. But I'm, ha- I'm happy you didn't expose us. That's good. That's good. No, yeah. Started. That's why I was, like, honestly, like, even my family, I was like, nah, I'm not going to see anybody. Like, I'm cool. I'm, I'm going to do me for a little while. And then, um, yeah, I'm back. So, I took another test, and then... Before I went back to work, they required me to take another test, and I came out negative on both. That's why I came out today, and you and know, first bada day bada back, bada and boom, then Jonathan here over here is like, "Hey, dude, let's run five miles," and I was like, "Ah, shit!" Oh damn! Right after COVID, I know, man. Hey, but you did it though. I did do it. I thought I was gonna like. I thought my lungs were like. I don't know. And honestly, I was a little scared. I was like, "Dude, should I have like brought my inhaler? Like, am I gonna die?" <laughs> But I pushed through. But the baddies take care of you. The baddies motivate and, and running with the group, like you said, it's, it's, exactly. it's a little motivated. Exactly. It's inspiring. Oh, hey, don't, yeah, ever, don't ever use your inhaler in front of me, bro. I, I don't like weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I almost slapped that thing on your hand. Don't you dare show me weakness. <laughs> yeah, no, I was playing. Use your inhaler. No, yeah, man. So, I mean, it's good to be back. It's good to see you guys. It's good to see everyone, you know, on the hikes, on the runs. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Hey, real quick, uh, Enrique, have you been hitting the gym, though? Cause um, I, know I, I took, like, a three-week break from, like, I guess the, the week of Christmas to like last week, I guess. So it was like two, three weeks. But I'm, I'm starting again. I started a couple of days ago and, and, and I'm starting the rhythm again, which feel, yeah. I feel great. Honestly, like I, I feel like I started working out and I feel like I have more energy for the day. Like working out gave me more energy and it woke me up more. And I kind of have more, I don't know, just working out. It's kind of got the, got the rhythm coming back. So I'm, I'm happy to to get ready. I mean, s- summer's only a couple months away, right? So we got to get that summer body. All right, and summer it, body, man. But if you don't get the summer body, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to be honest. Well, hey, I'm, I'm just, talking about summer body that would you know what I mean? Just I'm not be talking he- about a six pack. Just be healthy, right, Herbert? Just be healthy. <laughs> why not be he- Why not be hot? That's like, do you think the hot cells, <laughs> hot, steamy, sweaty bodies, six packs, abs, chest. Well, well Damn, we're still working yeah. on that, so. Damn, <laughs> yeah, I'm still working we're, on we're that. Only gonna, we're we're only going to look this good for like, I don't know. We're not going to look this good forever. No, 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 no. Yeah, we are. We are. We're, baddies are going to literally, we're, we're going to hear the forever. podcast. We're going to have a podcast running forever. I'm going to be honest with we're, you. We're like the retirement community. It's like, it's like, sir, you can't keep bringing your equipment. In. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my Yeah, head. but just to, uh, yeah. And for me, um, I've been hitting the gym a lot. You guys already know me. I've been posting it. Um, I lost weight, you know, all that good stuff. And I wasn't trying to lose weight, but I lost weight. But, uh, you know what I mean? It, it's been it's been pretty good. Um, you know what's surprising me about you? It's just like you you keep doing you like you've been doing more recently. Like you've increased the things you've been doing. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot a lot of it. Um, and and it's just uh, it, it's just been been pretty good. I don't know. I just been like um, like I, I don't know my 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 whole fitness, my whole eating, everything's been good. I don't, I'm not saying 100 percent because uh, sometimes yeah. I have cheat days. And we talked about cheat days, right? It's but, better than most people. Though. I say keep it up, dude. Yeah, and I want to keep it up forever, though. I don't want to get injured. That's why sometimes I take days off. Like, you always have to have the day off. Though. For, I'm going to be honest Recovery. with you. Recovery. Recovery day. 